Currently, the total worldwide box office earnings for Godzilla X Kong, the new empire have reached an impressive $547 million, becoming the most profitable MonsterVerse movie yet, meaning that it's the second highest grossing MonsterVerse movie globally, trailing only Kong, Skull Island's $561 million. We thought we weren't getting any updates anytime soon since the movie is still in theaters, but we were so wrong about that we finally got an update regarding the Godzilla X Kong sequel. So strap in and let's break it down to help you understand what's going on. Make sure you subscribe for future uploads. Dave Callum is going to write the script for the sequel of Godzilla X Kong. This news has really divided us, the MonsterVerse fans again. Let me explain using his previous work as examples and comment what you think. Dave Callahan wrote Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but he also wrote Wonder Woman 1984. He wrote the original Expendables, but he also wrote Mortal Kombat. Callahan as a history with Godzilla, having contributed to the early drafts of the 20, um, 14 Godzilla film, which had some interesting concept art to say the least. To this day, he's still given some credit to Godzilla 2014. But then he also wrote Doom for heavenly sake. What was he thinking? So now, do you get it? Dave Collum is inconsistent with his writing and it doesn't make sense why he does that. So him joining the MonsterVerse has really made a lot of fans, including me, worried about this. He's well known for his work on Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That movie had a blend of both hand-to-hand -hand combat and some kaiju fights. That's why some people are hopeful he will do a good job. He will pen the script for the next installment in the Godzilla X Kong saga. But another bad thing is that Adam Wingard will be filming another movie for At 24 called Onslaught. The movie will be reuniting Adam Wingard with his longtime collaborator, Simon Barrett. So he will have little to no input. Callahan's action-packed writing style, which as I mentioned earlier, has graced films like Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse and Doom. So my worry is that we might get to the point where Adam Wingard is replaced by another director due to scheduling issues. But the fact that this movie has only entered the development stage, it might be late and he might be replaced, which is bad and will ruin the MonsterVerse. Because one thing we learned is that Hollywood does not wait, but I see what Legendary is trying to do here. They wanna bring a fresh dynamic to the MonsterVerse. They want the franchise moving forward to be fun and just that fun. So the time to expect the sequel to release is potentially late 2026 or 2027 based on previous releases. So that's all I had for you today. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think about this news. Do you think the MonsterVerse will be okay or is it doomed? Please make sure you hit the monstrous like button and subscribe for future updates. And I will see you in the next one.